.NET report can be installed easily with the NuGet package in an existing enterprise application or a new Visual Studio project. In this example, we will install .NET report in a new Visual Studio project. So I will start Visual Studio and create a new project. Make sure to choose the .NET web app with model view controller. We can call it .NET report demo and make sure it's .NET 6. Once the new project is created, we can go to install NuGet packages. Then go to look for .NET report and install it. Once installed, it shows the readme file with some additional instructions. We can just follow the steps described in the readme file. The same information is available online in the knowledge base as well. So the first step is necessary to update the project and copy files locally. Once the NuGet package is installed, you can see that it adds a lot of files to the project. However, these are all references. And these additional steps are necessary to copy them locally. So we would just edit the project file and add this property first. Next we will copy this into the project file as well. Next step is to build project. The build succeeded. Once you build the project you will see that all these files that were references are actually now copied in to the project. Next, we will remove the block that we copied and pasted in the project file. It is necessary to remove it. Next step is to build the client-side libraries using npm and gulp. So the NuGet package installs the package.json file as well as gulp file. It is named this way so that you could merge it into your existing package.json file or gulp file.js. However, in this new project, we will just simply rename this to package.json and rename this file to gulpfile.js. So next step is to right click on package.json and click restore NuGet packages. You have to make sure that npm is installed on your computer for this to work. Once npm is done restoring packages, you can right click on the gulp file and click on Task Runner Explorer. You just need to run the script sculpt task. This is done successfully. The next step is to update the program.cs file. We need to add the following two lines manually to program.cs. Make sure you add it before the builder.build. We need to resolve the references. Finally, the last step is to add the .NET report keys to the app settings.json file. So we can copy this and paste it into the app settings file. You need to replace these placeholders with your actual account API keys and also update the connection string. I already have my demo keys, so I'll just go ahead and copy paste it. And I'll also paste in the connection string to my local database. And now we can build and run the project. Once the application is running, you need to go to the .NET report routes to load the pages. You can refer to the readme file for the route as well.
And that's pretty much how simple it is. And this is how you install and run .NET report in your web application. Since I use my demo account keys, which already had reports set up, I can view those reports and run them as well. I can also take a look at the dashboard. And I can also go to the setup page to manage my database settings.